Welcome back to Knights TV, Spencer Burke alongside Paige Martin. And Paige, a bit of a difficult weekend for London as they drop both their games. First up was Friday night's 4-2 loss against the Ottawa 67s. Well, it was Alex Formington that had both of the goals for the Knights on Friday, including a beautiful breakaway which gave the Knights a chance to tie things up. Yeah, and they had a lot of chances to tie it up, Paige. They just couldn't get that third goal. Ottawa eventually putting the game away late in the third, making it a 4-2 game. But Alex Formenton, as you mentioned, he scored his 20th and 21st goal in the season, joining Liam Foody and Evan Bouchard as the other Knights' 20-goal scorers. On Sunday, the Knights hosted the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds who were sitting in first place in the OHL and it was really back and forth through the first 40 minutes, but in the third, the Sioux pulled away. Yeah, the Sioux scored three third period goals, Paige, making it a 6-2 game. The goal scorers for London were Nathan Dunkley and Andrew Parrott. Andrew Parrott's goal was beautiful. He stepped around the guy at the point before eventually ripping one in the back of the net. So what are the positives you can take away from a game like today? I mean, other than a few lapses, you guys held tight against the top team in the country, really. Yeah, I think uh, we played really well. We, we kept them pretty tight and it was just, just in the third there, kind of game got away from us, but um, that showed us that we can play with any team in the league, really. Um, looking ahead, how do you, how do you sort of look uh, past this weekend, look to head to Peterborough and Kingston and try to get on a roll here come the playoff push? Yeah, for sure. We just uh, we need to focus on Thursday. and I mean, I've said it all year, but we just got to take it one game at a time. As much as that sounds cliche, we just got to focus on Peterborough. But what are some of the positives you can take away from, from this game? Obviously just a few mental lapses, but other than that, you guys held tight against the top team in the country. Yeah, I think it shows that uh, we can play with any team in, in the OHL, so I think that's, that's something to take out of it. Um, looking ahead to uh, uh, Kingston and Peterborough this upcoming week, is there any extra added excitement knowing you're playing against some familiar faces and, and Cliff and, and Max? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but the main focus is getting, getting the three wins. Um, yeah, it's going to be great to see them again, uh, good friends of mine, but like I said, main focus is getting the wins. But despite the loss, London still clinched a playoff berth page because of an eerie loss against Windsor. And Spencer, this actually marks the 18th consecutive season that the Knights have made it to the playoffs, which is truly a remarkable stat for this franchise. Coming up next, the Knights will look to get back on track as they leave London for a three-game road trip. That's right, they start on Thursday night in Peterborough taking on the Peets, and then on Friday they'll travel to Kingston to face off against the Frontenac. And then on Sunday they'll be in Ottawa to take on the 67s. London won't be back at the Budweiser Gardens until March the 7th when they'll take on the Guelph Storm. For Knights TV, I'm Spencer Burke. And I'm Paige Martin.